Welcome to Low Budget Let's Play. Live free or die hard. Nope. No, dang it. Just die hard for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy. Hey yo everybody. Yeah, so oh LJM made oh no, it's Activision. Sorry, I saw the rainbow there. I was like, oh no. You just saw the colors. You you Oh, Ranger Javet in the NES game. What? I thought that was Urkel. Officer Carl Winslow now in the NES game as well. What's Steve Carell? <sighs> Alright, so yeah, Die Hard, never played this game. Um, I've seen AVGM review it. Of course, that's how everyone knows this game. Yeah. And, whoa. Is Die Hard a Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> it almost seems like a I mean, precursor it, of Metal, sorts. Metal, Metal Gear Solid. I meant Metal Gear for the NES. Yeah. It would seem like some kind of weird successor of of a sorts, because it's top down like the uh, PlayStation one. Yeah. Well, so was the original Metal Gear, and. Oh yeah, exactly. Don't. Oh man, see, hey, it's hard. Oh. Oh yeah, I believe you're gonna probably gonna have a tough time. Does he only have one foot? Oh. The footsteps yeah. I hear? Ah! Oh, the glass broke. Here comes Stone Cold Steve Austin. Whoa, a lot of power ups. Too bad John McClane doesn't have any Stone Cold feet. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Wait, Franco from Spider Man? The actor's James Franco? No. Yes, James Franco. Kinda of looks like James Franco. He, you know, had his beard grewed out and all. Grewed out? Hans grewed out? Grewed out. Hans Gruber? No. Well, that is his name, right? Yeah. Hans Gruber. Yes. It's just Hans grew his beard out. I'll fail. Oh. Man, really? That's just like. What's that? Contra boss right here? Or. Fighting. Shooting spray guns at me here. I mean, spray guns. Shooting. Using the spray gun on me. Not shooting the guns. Or, yeah, they're up. They're spread gunning you. I mean, yeah, they're shooting the gun. They're shooting bullets, rather. But, what Fritz? What the heck? He's calling the henchmen. Fritz von Eric now. Points for reference. Sorry, you got a youngster here. Oh, I got. Oh, my, my, come on! I'm hit. Man, I hit the guy. Come on. Well, that's like a new record for game overtime. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, well, come on. All right, let's try this again. Oh, but it's too. Uh, why don't you choose the advanced, <laughs> advanced difficulty? Forget that. I wonder. I wonder how hard it'd be then. The advanced difficulty. This game's already hard. I like the track right here. Well, hold on. Now ah, there we go. I like that. This track right here. Ah uh, yes, wonderful. Uh, well, it's like just called in-game music by Junichi Saito. Did you do an 8-bit stereo with this? Uh, not yet. This is one that's difficult to do because of just some bull crap with the. Uh, program or the uh, NSF file. It's complicated, but I hope to get it out soon. NSF insufficient file? Oh, yeah. It is It is insufficient for my needs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look out. I'm going downstairs here. Oh, whoa. Okay, I guess, yeah, the number on the top left is the number of terrorists left, right? Yep. I believe so. It just went down to 31. Does that include Hans? Oh, wait. Does that include Hans that's... Gruber? Maybe. I thought that was the floor. Lovely. Oh, wait. Did it uh, go down to 31? I didn't know. I wasn't I paying it. Did. I don't know. It's one of those two. Whoa. Big Christmas tree. Oh, wait, no, because he was saying go to the 32nd floor, and that's, I think, where you were, so he was telling the henchman to go after you, basically. So I think we figured it out. I wonder if that douchebag FBI director is in this movie, that idiot that uh, called the shots, the guy from the Breakfast Club. I, I don't know that. <laughs> actor's name. Yeah, it is the floor number. Okay. Yeah, we figured it out. Well, that's scary music. Just go up the elevator. Nice elevator music right there. What happened to GoldenEye elevator music? This is NES, man. So? We're not that advanced yet. So? You be 8-bit mini. <laughs> is a soda machine? I'm trying to get my health up here. Jeez. Yeah, some of these doors are locked. Do you need the card key like in Metal Gear? I don't know. This is exactly, this is just Metal Gear. That's why they made this game. It's like, what should we make it like? Oh, Metal Gear, of course, because we know how to do that. Because <laughs> we're packing video. 
Yeah. Which is who he made it, for those who might be confused with just making the, um, or, cl or uh, claiming the publisher or just the name on the box is the developer or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they made Rambo, right? Yeah, they are known for difficult games like Rambo, Thunderbirds, and Predator. Oh, Predator, jeez. Rambo what, is much like, better than that. I like that game. Oh, why? Because it's good and I can beat it really easily. The music, the the level of music is not bad, but oh, I don't know how you can beat Predator easily. I, don't, I just when know. the game is so tedious and ridiculously challenging. I know, I just, you know me, I'm good at games and... It's the same music composer too as like uh, this game. Well, I should let you play this game then. Maybe you can beat it already. <laughs> Probably, but I would like to own it, which is a tough deal because y you know how why this game is actually quite rare. Because it was only sold as an exclusive deal in December of 1991 at Toys R Us. Oh wow. Yeah. Buy this it's game. Now buy the movie. You get a free diehard for the NES. No. I don't think it was meant for the kids. I mean, Toys R Us of all places to to promote Die Hard. Yeah. So, yeah, sounds like a good idea. No wonder it's rare, because no one wanted probably bought it. They were like, oh no, 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 we know the Die Hard. It's the killings and the pew pew. What the heck? Thank you, Ranger Trevet. I hope his partner Walker's not in this game. Walker, Parker, Walker? <laughs> Wait, where does this take place? New York? So, Walker, New no, York. No, no, this is LA right here. Oh, Walker, L.A. Ranger? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now, Walker, L.A. Ram. I oh, fail. No, that's St. Louis Rams now. Never mind. Oh, that was Rambo. <laughs> Marco Polo. Go to out, check out the 34th flow. <laughs> Marco Polo. So, I wonder if there's a game, Genie Code, where it says, Never die hard. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so surprised. In fact, I would love that. That would just be great. <laughs> Never might, die. Hard. Yeah. I might need Game Gene to beat this. ECW mode? But nope, I vow not to use ECW mode in this. I'm not going to call it playthrough because I doubt I'm going to beat it. Oh, oh, damn. Watch out for the glass. I think if I walk across there, it's where I get a feet meter. Yeah, watch out for that. Have you paused yet? Because I think it'll already show your feet meter if you, uh, like, paused. Oh, yeah. Well, let me... I'll check that out in a minute if I don't die first. Ah, more broken glass. They should have had, like, easy and hard difficulty, because then it would have been like, you're dying easy, or you can die hard. Yeah, now you're gonna die beginner or die advanced. <laughs> That's what this game should be now. Die advanced. Yeah. Alright, now with some elevator action for the NES. With the scary music. That sounds predator-ish. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I got. Oh. Okay, about to die real soon with my Mega Man energy bar. Sounds like your... sounds like a candy or, or like a nutrition bar. Mega Man energy bar. Mmm, sounds yummy. Oh, oh, that was not yummy. Ah. Uh, look at him. He looks sad. He's like, this guy sucks playing this game. <laughs> Why are we even trying? <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll try again in part two. Till then, God bless and take care. I'm a diehard fan for the music.